In today's video, I'll demonstrate how to create a CGI prank video using Blender and After Effects. So first, download the footage from Pexels, download link in the description. Next, open the footage in After Effects and locate the 3D camera tracker. Drag and drop it onto the footage, then let After Effects handle the tracking process. After the tracking is complete, you'll see the tracking points. Select three tracking points and opt for Create Solid in Camera. Align the solid with the road. Next, copy the camera data. I have the AE2 Blend Add-in, which is a very useful tool for transferring After Effects camera information to Blender. Now, click on Create Camera, since we've copied the camera data from After Effects. After that, copy the solid data from After Effects and click on Create Plane. Select the camera and add the background footage. Set the focal length to around 26 millimeters and adjust the FPS to match the footage, which in this case is 29.97. Proceed to sketch fab and search for a free downloadable car model. I'll be using this specific car for the demonstration. Since I have the sketch fab add-in installed in Blender, I simply copied and pasted the URL into the add-in and the car was imported into our project. Position the car on the railway track, adjust the plane to make it slightly bigger, and fine-tune its position. Now, access the world shader and add the HDRI, which can be found in the link provided in the description. Adjust the rotation of the HDRI as necessary. Switch the render mode from EV to Cycles. Select the plane, then navigate to Object Properties and enable Shadow Catcher. Now, we have a cool car shadow. You can also adjust the strength of the HDRI. I'll set it to 0.5. You can also change the color of the car. I'll make a slight adjustment to it. Now, go to Scene Properties and change the resolution to 1280 by 720 to match our footage. Set the frame range accordingly. Choose the output folder where the PNG files will be saved and then hit Render Animation. When the rendering is done, open the footage in After Effects. Go to Import, Multiple Files, select the first frame and hit Import. Drag and drop the PNG sequence and you're done. So, this was just a small demonstration. There are many possibilities using this technique. If this video helped you, please hit the like button, and if it didn't, feel free to hit the dislike button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.